Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Home Grow. First off, we just want to say thank you for all the support that we've been given. We actually debuted on YouTube two weeks ago with our first video on how to mix and apply nutrients. It's actually gone 10,000 views within two weeks, so I really appreciate the support. We actually had a comment from Steve Davis where he asked us, why are we doing this? The reason why, we just want to build a hydroponics community all across Australia, but also push the sustainability of, of farming. Hydroponics has great benefits, so really just want to educate the people out there. Now today, we actually are going to be talking about ventilation in your indoor growing systems. Now ventilation is one of the most important things in indoor growing, specifically for three reasons. The first one is maintaining CO2 levels to be optimal. So plants need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. So you need to contain an indoor system that provides continuous and uninterrupted supply of air. The second part is also maintaining temperature. Now plants are very susceptible to temperature variations. Even the slightest change in the degrees can drastically affect the plants themselves, the quantity and the yield. In an indoor growing system, you guys will be using lights. Every light emits different levels of heat. So therefore you need to keep the temperature cool with the ventilation system. The third one is humidity. And that just means excess moisture. If you guys ever taken a walk through the bush or you've seen an environment where there's a lot of plants, you can see water and you can see that they're very moist. Now, moisture and high humidity attracts a lot of insects and unwanted pests, which will dramatically impact the health of your plants. So what you need to do in a ventilation system is to dry out the air because that's going to force your plants to absorb more water through the roots through rich nutrients. If you haven't checked our video beforehand, we demonstrated how you can mix and apply nutrients to do so. What do you need in an indoor ventilation system? First, you need a great fan that is going to circulate a lot of air. You also need some ducts to connect that and a carbon filter to block out any odors or any smell because no one wants unwanted attention. So that's the reason why we're going with the AC Infinity Cloud Line series. So guys, we're gonna start unboxing this right now to show you what you're gonna expect when you open it. So the top, you got the instruction manual and you also you got the remote. Now for this video, we actually got the six inch uh, fan, but you can choose between the four inch or the eight inch or the 10 inch, just whatever your requirements are. Now you can also choose between the S series or the T series. Now both series models come with similar things. So that includes the same fan, uh, the same duct clamps. You also get zip lines so you can hang the fan up in your grow tent. It also comes with cables, which is gonna include your temperature probes and also just the plug. The only difference between the S series and the T series models are the controllers. For the S series model, which we don't have at the moment, their controller is very simple. There's only one functionality, which is to adjust the speeds. For the T-Series, it comes with the LCD thermal controller and there's three modes that you can utilize. The first one is the timer. So you can schedule when it's gonna turn on or turn off during the day. The second part is also auto mode. So this mode you can schedule to turn on or off based on the temperatures and the humidity set. The third mode is the alarm setting. So this is going to notify you if you have high temperatures, low temperatures, high humidities or low humidities. You can also connect it to two of your duct fans to share the same programming. No one wants to have unwanted attention or a loud fan within the indoor environment. Luckily enough, AC Infinity is commonly referred to as the quietest fan on the market. It has a 32 decibel rating, which is sits somewhere just above a loud whisper. Now we're going to compare the AC Infinity fan to a traditional inline fan, and we're gonna show you the decibel ratings through a decibel meter. All right guys, we're going to start comparing the traditional inline fan first. Just letting you guys know that the decibel rating in this room currently is somewhere around 40. All right guys, we just tested a traditional inline fan. That's giving a decibel rating of 69. We're gonna start moving to the AC Infinity fan now at the same level. All right guys, we just tested the two fans. The traditional inline fan gave a rating of 69. 
while the AC Infinity fan gave a rating of 59. Now the second most important thing to an indoor grower is smell because no one wants to have unwanted attention. So luckily enough, AC Infinity also provides carbon filters. Now this carbon filter is made out of Australian charcoal, which is known for high absorption rates for odor blockage. It also lasts 30% longer. The only thing that we would recommend you doing is changing the sock every six months or every grow. It's also designed for full air pass through and it efficiently moves air in a room or tent to keep the temperatures low and maintain low humidity as well. So the third most important thing to an indoor grower is power. Now every grower is concerned about how much an inline fan is gonna cost them a month. The traditional inline fan consumes about 55 watts while the AC Infinity fan consumes about nine watts. Now the easiest way for you guys to calculate how much a fan is gonna cost you a month is a very simple formula. It's watts times how many hours is used. Divide that by a thousand and then times that by 0.33, which is 33 cents because of Australian retail price of electricity. And that's gonna give you how much it's gonna cost a month. If we're doing the traditional inline fan, 55 times 24 hours, let's say, divide that by a thousand, multiply that by 33 cents, that's gonna give you a price of around 43 cents a day. Multiply that by 30, that's $13 a month. As compared to the AC Infinity fan, if you were to do the same formula at nine watts, it's gonna cost you around seven cents a day, times that by 30, that's $2.14 a month. Inline fans, specifically the AC Infinity, doesn't cost you a single thing. We've been running the AC Infinity fan for the past six months, and we can say that it's a much smaller and much lighter inline fan than most on the market. It's been serving us very well. If you combine it with the carbon filter, definitely removes the odor seeping through your indoor environment. You can grab yours at homegrow.com.au. And the best thing about this is that we include free shipping for all AC Infinity products. Thanks guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you already have an AC Infinity fan or are planning to, definitely share your experience or any questions down in the comment section below. And we'll see you next time.